Well, the recent surge in COVID-19 cases is putting a heavy burden on hospitals and urgent care centers, and now it's making it harder for some emergency medical services. As Robert Smith Jr. tells us, EMS departments are encouraging people to not overwhelm them with calls unless it's a life-threatening situation. Continuing rise in COVID-19 cases and its multiple variants have put pressure on hospitals and urgent care centers. Now, EMS departments are feeling the effects. Enterprise Rescue has seen a number of people since the Omicron variant drop by to get tested. About 98% of the people that come by here to get tested are testing positive. And so uh, uh, very few people are tested negative with it. If they feel like they've got a runny nose or a uh, you know, sore throat or something like that, the symptoms seem to be really mild but they are testing positive for COVID. Anthony Cole with Enterprise Rescue says the virus didn't take it easy on his employees. And although the quarantining period has been shortened, it still causes a major gap in staffing. We have to pay them overtime. That's quite a big expense when you have to start pay, paying people overtime because you don't have enough people to fill the shifts. And that's a problem all over the nation. Um, you see people trying to put out uh, uh, information to uh, hire people and giving them signing bonuses. But limited staffing is not the only obstacle they are facing. With hospitals overwhelmed with COVID-19 patients, their turnaround time has increased due to the facility lacking hospital beds. Our ERs are being overwhelmed by people that are, are just wanting to get tested and concerned that they do have COVID. And that is in turn affecting 911 ambulances that bring people in for emergent care from wrecks or major cardiac issues, strokes. Reporting, Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass. And EMS workers say if you are experiencing mild symptoms and not having major breathing problems, treat yourself with over-the-counter medicine or visit a primary care facility.